movement, gravity. Did you ever think about it? How does this work? How to program this? It is a magic trick. Nope. We can easily program a simply gravity algorithm. It is often used in Gadoo tutorials and user tizd13, I don't know how to say, comment in the my last video that he has no idea what is going on on the movement script. The first step will be preparing the project for better understanding. I have choose 100 by 200 pixels for the main window. It will be resized to 1200 by 600 pixels if we choose 2D mode and expand aspect in the project settings. I took a small pixel number because it will be much easier to understand the math later. Now it's a time to add a simple init scene with a static body and the player. The static body is a body which will not move. It also colliding with the kinematic body which will be used for the player scene. All of these two nodes need to have a collision shape for detecting each other on the scene. Our plan is to add the player above the collision shape and add gravity math to the engine. I prepared simple textures for the player and the static body. The player has 16 by 16 pixels and the basic rectangle is 100 by 25. Let's add them to the scene. First will be static body 2D. It needs a sprite for visibility and as I said earlier, it needs to have collision shape. I think the rectangle 2D will be the perfect choice for it. Now we can expand it per 50 pixel in the X axis and 12 point half for the Y axis. Let's also move it to the new position. 187.5 will be perfect choice. Next will be the player and we will add a new scene for him. We need a kinematic body for it. It is a node for moving objects on the scene and detect collision. It will be perfect for the players or enemies. Another good type of node for the player would be a rigid body 2D but it has own gravity from Gadoo. So let's focus on the kinematic body for now. Similar to static body, we need to add sprite and collision shape. The collision shape will be similar to height of the player and the feet will be colliding with the floor. Now let's add player scene to our init scene and move it to the new position, 125 pixel on the scene. Using these values we will have ideal 50 pixel high between player and the static body. And now finally we can start the coding. In the player scene let's add script. We can add a folder for scripts to have a more organized project. I know it is small, but good behaviors are always important. The first variable will be gravity and let it be like 10 pixels per second. Next, we need to add a physics process function, which is synchronized to the physics process in the engine. Delta value is a variable equals to the time of refreshing this function and its constant. The basic Gadoo project has 60 frames per second for the physics process. In our case, it should be like 0.0166666 and so on. We can check this using print function. The next major variable will be the velocity of the player. The start value will be zero, so the player should stay still. To move him down, we can use built-in function move and slide. This function moves full kinematic node using linear velocity, so if we will pass our gravity, it should touch the ground after 5 seconds because the distance between the player and the ground is 50 pixels. 
we should not multiply it by delta, because the engine is doing that by itself. So to test it, we can do the timer note for testing and after passing 5 seconds, it will print the message. Oops, of course something went wrong because I forgot cast wait time from the timer note to the string. But now it's working very well. This gravity is pretty boring, so we can make acceleration. We can easily do this by adding gravity to our velocity instead to make it constant. But now it's little little too fast, because on the first frame we have velocity equals to 20 pixels per second, on the next frame we have 40 pixels per second, and the next will be 60 pixels per second, and the speed is increasing like the acceleration, like the gravity. So in the 13th frame we will have speed 600 pixels per second, so it's pretty pretty fast, we need to lower this gravity. Let's use gravity 0.1 and calculate the distance. The first frame will have 0.1 multiply delta and the next frame will have the distance from the previous frame plus 0.2 multiply delta. Next will be the same but plus 0.3 multiply delta. So we will have a formula like n frame distance is equal to n minus 1 frame distance plus n multiplying 0.1, which is our gravity, multiply delta. Using it in the chart, this will be looks like this. In the Y axis we have pixels, I marked a range of 50 pixels. In the X axis we will have time in seconds. Using the formula and 0.1 gravity, our player should touch the ground after 4 seconds. At this point we have the working gravity, so we need the opposite force, which will be the jump. We can use the same formula as previous, after a little testing I choose value 25 for the jump and here is a chart for it. Player in this situation is standing still on the ground and has zero speed and velocity. In this situation we are starting with speed 25 pixel per second and we reduce the number later. On the first frame we will have minus 25 speed plus 0.1 multiply delta. On the next frame we will have the previous speed plus 0.2 multiply delta and so on and so on and so on. Here is the chart with the values. The math is telling us that the jump will have the duration of something near 8 seconds. So let's try it. Math is working correctly, so I will show it it's once again, but in the velocity debugging in the console for better understanding what is happening on. The last thing for basic movement is moving our player to the left and the right. 
It is very easy because we need only to add the speed, let's say 20 pixel for second and will be liner. We also need to reset velocity x to 0 because we will have skating on ice. I hope you learned something new from this tutorial. You can find this code on my GitHub page, links are in the description. You can easily download the source code without login and import it on the Kadoo. Feel free to like this video, subscribe and have a nice day, night and full life!